42 plus 6. Oh, is 48. We are two. Oh, we are missing two cots. Hello, everyone. Thranks is here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, episode 64, where we have a lot to do and take care of. So we're starting to get temperature increase in here from, well, partly from all these uh, natural gas power plants, but also from the vented heat I've put in this area to try to help the steam condense in these pumps. This one is just completely full of water. And I had a thought. So these aren't really... So I noticed no water really coming through this piping system. So we don't have any water going to our cooling area. Because, well, this wire got busted. This wire needs to be fixed. So let's make that a priority. And then this one down here... Well, it was just starting to pump water now because we put uh, a tile there to help vent the heat. Which will slowly raise the heat in this area. So that's fine, far away from the base, but how do we do that here? I didn't want these, or rather I don't want these, to leach their heat all over the place. So what do we need? We need... We need a little area. So, this is my thought. Here's my thought process. is We're going to do granite here. And then we don't need the insulated tiles because we're going to use abyssalite, which we're going to do... Uh, no. Nope, we're going to do abyssalite like this. Yes. Cancel, cancel. And then we're going to put a flower vase with a wheeze wart right there. And then we'll seal it up with abyssalite afterwards. And that should solve our problem. So let's... Let's see that happen. This is interesting. I've been looking at this, and I'm wondering, why isn't this polluted water putting out polluted oxygen? But I realize it's because the polluted oxygen... 16 kilograms? How is the polluted oxygen held down? There's not nearly enough air pressure to do that. Hmm. Not sure what the cause of that is. All right, let's set up a similar thing over here so we can get both of these going. So we're going to do granite like that, and then we'll do abyssalite up and around it, which means we're going to have to go like this, which means we're going to have to have another way to get up there. I think, think if we put these ladders here, they'll be able to climb up through that, maybe, perhaps. I'm not sure. We're going to find out. And then we'll put our plant there, and then we're going to need to get rid of these. All right. I don't know why we're going on slow speed. Let's go ahead and speed things up. And we'll get these taken care of. Because otherwise, they're just... The steam's backing up, and they're just not pumping water. Look, we're, we're out of water again. What's... This water has stopped. Okay, that water is moving. This water has stopped. Why has this water stopped? Pipe is blocked. What's going on? Is it because of this? Is it really because of this? Uh, I don't imagine why. That's a, that's a one way. It should continue through, up, over... We're still dealing with this pressure confusion. It's because of that? Why is this trying to go that way? Because of this? What? Are you serious? So this water is, like, frozen in time now, just for the public bathroom. Mmm, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I do not care. Let's get these systems built so these will start putting out water again. We'll f I'll mess with that other thing and we'll figure it out. But right now, 
that's not a huge concern. We'll make these a priority six here. So the Weez Wart should be taken care of first. And then same thing over here. We'll get a Weez Wart priority eight plant. Thank you. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll get the Abyssalite queued up at a six. Up and over. Perfect. Okay, so it's pumping water, it's pipe is blocked. We're still getting this weird pressure confusion thing. And I don't know how to remedy that. Because it's affecting the whole line now, and it's got to be this. Because we're trying to feed off and it doesn't... Okay, I have an idea. Let's try to remove these and those. Okay. Because that public bathroom is going to mess up the whole waterworks that we're cooling that's feeding everything. That's not okay. We have a reserve, but I it's going to run out eventually if we don't do something about it. These wires uh, need to be higher priority so that we can start getting this all taken care of. This diggers can re can report here to get that taken care of. Mining crew, excavation department, you have your work cut out for you. All right, let's let's zoom out. Anymore, we're gonna have to start zooming out here just to navigate the map, and it's really struggling. I wanted to keep going, but I dare say this series is probably going to come to an end before too long. I think we've reached the limits of what the game can handle in its current build. And until it gets a little more optimized for larger, more complex bases and larger number of duplicates, I fear that it's just going to degrade harder and harder the more we try to add to it. In fact, triple speed is almost, almost unmanageable. Okay, those are priority three. So we should start seeing these getting filled up with slime. See what I mean, Paul? Paul S. was just kind of frozen on the ladder there for a little bit. Not really doing anything. These puffs have cleared out almost all the polluted oxygen. Whoa. How did they get ahead in the polluted oxygen? So there's none more in the base. And this area is, what, just not pumping any? What? Building disabled. Really? I disabled it? We'll turn it back on. I'm not sure what that's about, or what that's trying to be about. That needs to get taken care of. Alright, this area now will ensure that this steam does not build up, as will this area, as soon as the final tile is built here. Well, there you have it. That's, that's one way to handle it. Ah, let's go check out the Bristleberry area. There's so much going on. It's a lot to keep track of. Hey, it's starting to get built and assembled. Are we moving? Still moving at triple speed? Good. Um, what did I make this out of? Abyssalite, right? I did. Good, good, good. And then why are we digging this out? I made this out of Abyssalite as well. Tile, Abyssalite. If it's below, then these should have power. Oh, because it piggybacked off of that one. No! That's not how it's going to work. Yeah, we can't do that. No, we can't do that at all. Okay, so the way we're going to have to piggyback this... First thing we're going to have to do is destroy these wires here. Uh, these we'll get rid of. And then the new wires... About like that. Looks good. Let's get it done. 
I don't know how this is going to work. If we're going to be able to keep these good yield, not an excellent yield. We don't even have we don't even have proper air pressure. We do have irrigation. So let's take a look down here. How are we doing? Because we're going to start running this. Guys are out. Yeah, it's going to need a place to vent its heat as well. Mm, otherwise, it's going to get trapped up with steam. So let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll put granite maybe like right here on the bottom. And then that way it's got to share that heat with all this water that's collected down here. I think that's smart. Let's do that. That'll give a place for temperatures to change. Yep. Put you at an 8. I don't think that changed what I did to an 8. In fact, I'm sure that it did not. Okay. Alright, now that that's done... Go back up here and address this. We should have lights kicking on, but we also we don't have all the abyss light built yet. Oh, we dug under here just to be able to build this abyss light floor. That's that's all it was. All right. Well, that work is being done. Let's go ahead and check out here. Right. So with the water taking a break the way it did. We started, yeah, we started getting cold. That's why we've got some ice there. Ooh, this water is 3 Celsius. Yeah, that's a little colder than we want, but we should have 10 kilograms, 80 degrees. Good. So it'll start warming up. That's good. We'll zoom out again. And we'll head down past the sleet wheat area to our new pinch of pepper endeavor, which is not getting near enough irrigation or harvesting. We just don't have enough people over here working in this area dedicated to harvest all this because we haven't been able to finish the Volcano Hotel yet. I switched you to be active, right? I did. And... That was probably a mistake. Let's cut you off. No, let's let's stop and then say if you're above No, if you're below zero, then kick on. There you go. Now it should just run away and go into a state where it's not being used. Alright. Thing is these two just don't produce enough polluted water even when they're running non stop. They don't they don't produce they don't produce near enough polluted water. Which is a bit of a concern. We could process more algae over here. Now this pump is starting to work. And we're getting carbon dioxide built up here. Also not good. So the way we handled carbon dioxide build up at the ice hotel is we gave them a little bottom area for all of the gases to sink and then get pushed out through positive pressure and, be, and come down and be another problem elsewhere. Hopefully into the circulation system, but it looks like we've got a little pile forming up over here, and then over here this stuff, uh, this stuff hits this area and makes its long transition down. Due to the vacuum that these puffs are rapidly creating. So it looks like we're pulling polluted oxygen out of the bottom again, which is good. This area over here has been cleaned out of a lot of polluted oxygen. Looks like we're getting transfer over here. All right, okay, that's that's fair. They're still they're still taking care of it. The numbers are still lower than they were, so that's very good. We'll let that natural gas clear itself out, even though it's probably going to be pocketed in that corner for a bit. Hey, let there be light. These are cold because this area isn't done and sealed yet. These up here are warming up. Not in that corner. Mm, this area is pretty warm over here. You, you guys aren't trapped in there. You guys can get out. So don't act like you're trapped in there, please. You're just standing there holding your breath in the cold. What are you doing? What is going on? No, you guys have total access. You can go anywhere you want. Not falling for your tricks. 
So really, I just want to copy this design. I'm not trying to be original and make it something different. I just want to copy that design. So we have one, two, three, four floors plus storage where the bad air gets pushed out. Only since we're down low, pushing the bad air out doesn't eventually send it down into the circulation system. Pushing bad air out is going to pile it up. So... That means we're going to have to send it to the carbon dioxide scrubber, the air scrubber. So really, if you think about it, this pump down here is necessary to have in a part of the base. Okay, well then, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it in the right bottom corner because we know that bad air tends to travel to the right and good air tends to travel to the left. Um, so as the bad air sinks, it should end up down in here. In this little pocket corner, which as you can see, is already kind of happening here. You know, we're getting this, this pocket corner here. So, we'll set up for this. Mm, I don't want to tap into that network, though. I don't. We're going to leave that network as it is for now, and we're going to wait until most of this gas, or all of it, has made its way down due to the low pressure, due to this pump, which then just leaves the bad air in this pocket, and we can focus on that. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to have to do the floors a little differently. That's, that's fine. That's not a big deal. I think what we'll do is we'll do the cots... No, 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 no. The cots, the cots need to be, cots need to be away from the wall, one. Let's do them in granite for the extra decor. Do some cots. Six, six more people is going to work. All right, at this point, let's seal up what we have going on here. So we're going to wall this up and then get rid of these ladders. We don't need them anymore there. They're not really serving their purpose. And then this mesh tile system will have to be changed to granite. I'm thinking there and probably even one there. And then we'll do the same thing here. We'll do a gas permeable tile in the back of the room. So I think that's important. And then, and then the next gas tile... Oh no, the next gas tile should be there. Okay. So we'll cancel that one and then So we need these we need these gas permeable tiles. These are very important. We need our airflow. Now these are ahead by one and these are not. Okay. Well, let's try again. Uh, so we'll cancel these. We got to get them got to get them looking looking the same. That's that's very important to me. How about our briar seeds? We only have five. Well, if we can't do a briar seed for everybody in their room, then we'll just have to do statues. Look at that. Probably not going to give you guys any lights in here, though, because you're already so close to the heat. It's going to be very difficult keeping this area ooh, temperate. Yes, it is. Well, we might just have to give the Volcano crew um, cool vests. Perhaps. That might be... That might be the thing that starts to happen. Now, if I don't make these out of gas permeable tile, how is the air actually flowing down? I see. I see. Okay. So we're going to have to do the gas permeable tiles like this. And then underneath them, we can do the granite. Except for up at the top. The top layer doesn't need that. Because then we'll do our doors like this. And then we can go ahead and put in our Mona duplicants. Or our duplicant Lisas. I don't know. Is it the Mona duplicant or is it the duplicant Lisa? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. We'll figure that out. Well, it's not the best. It's a little smaller, but we're getting it started. We are. 
we well and truly are. And we'll have a little more polluted water to give to this system once we put in our lavatory. In fact, we're going to need to... let's... Kind of regretting now that this corner is used up like this. Mm. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not sure how I want to do this corner, but I know that I, I kind of need it there like that. So let's look at lavatories. Let's give... Pretty sure I did two lavatories. And a statue. And then a shower. Like that. And then for decor, we'll just do a statue. Because we don't have the bristle. We don't have the bristle briar seeds. And this area is more volcanic anyways. They don't have the luxury of the ice hotel where they can. They can keep their little flowers. It's going to be too hot here for flowers. Way too hot. All right, let's run our abyssalite piping into the system. Yep, just down like that, and then we'll run it up here. Up, and up, and up. Perfect. So then these pipes will run straight up from the output. I think that'll give them plenty of room to join with each other. And then we'll just run them up. These, this is also abyssalite, so we won't incur any kind of temperature. And then we'll just run it up, and we'll cut over one. Yes. And then if we do it like that, ah, we shouldn't even shouldn't even have to open this room. Not that that would be the worst thing in the world. Ugh. We're out of natural gas. Really? Have we... Oh, we, we pretty much have gotten it all. Okay, well, let's prioritize, now that we've got our layout set up, let's prioritize this area. And then we will disable and deconstruct at a high priority um, everything right here, please. Thank you. And you can get kicked back on. So if it's above 600... 700, and do your thing. Pumped for a little bit. We're going to have to have uh, exercise areas and the common areas here as well. Ugh, people are taking cots. Wait a second. Do we not have enough cots for everyone? Have we had people without a cot this whole time? For shame on me. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 28. And then this would be, it's minus 1 here, but plus 1 here. So it's the same amount. So it would be 42. 42 plus 6. Oh, is 48. We are two. Oh, we are missing two cots. Son of a gun. How did that escape us? Uh, okay, well... I'm I'm a little upset that that was the case. Um, there's not a lot we can do about it. We can add two more in over here and get some decor going because we're not ready to have anybody sleeping over at the Volcano Hotel yet. That's, that's not a thing that we can do. Unfortunately, you guys won't get two duplicate leases here because I'm not moving that vent. We're going to leave that vent where it is. Yeah, it's a little cold. I know, people are complaining it's chilly. We're going to... <gasps> Hope. Why are you Why are you suffocating? Breathe. You should have been able to breathe that whole time. Right? Lots of polluted oxygen here. Oof, do not scare me like that. Hmm, that's how we lost our original Skinny Lenny. No, I don't want to mess with that yet. So the temperature is getting cold. We don't want more duplicates. Heck, we've got to get the beds situated for these duplicates that we have. Um, but it's getting cold, and I don't like that. I don't want everybody shivering and being cold. 
The 10 kilograms of 80 degree water, though, should start making a difference in here. I don't see any more ice. That's a good sign. Ooh, we've got high temps at the top. 0.8 degrees. Yes, we need to get this water warmed up. So we're going to let it continue flowing at max temperature for the time being. Lots of pinch pepper nuts. Not so many stuffed berries, but... What about our bristle berries? This should still be making, yep, stuffed berries continuously. Very good. These are still not going to get above a good yield. But as time goes on, we're guaranteed at least to get to an excellent yield for this area up here. Is very good at churning out excellent yield bristle berry blossoms. We just need that trend to continue over here. So we have ideal air pressure now which is good. What do we have over here? Not ideal air pressure because of carbon dioxide. Hmm. That is going to be an issue, same as this. Although my hope was that it would get pushed out. But without circulation... Oh no! What, did we have something melt? Somebody have an accident? No, nobody had an accident. We just got ice melting. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's get that cleaned up. Well, the ice hotel is looking very sharp. We'll sweep up all of that. All that rotten food. More rotten food. Everybody's been trying to eat and just leaving the because what it's pol polluted dirt from a rot pile from the food going bad right everybody's just leaving their food everywhere excellent yield but we've got carbon dioxide building up hmm. it's gonna be tough to do that with this here so we're gonna have to actually deconstruct these buildings here. Yep, we're going to have to deconstruct them and then give uh, give our duplicates a little ladder to stand on here. And then everywhere else should be able to be gotten. Ideal air pressure. The temperature is warming up close to the light or it's trying to. It's close. The lights will do their job over time. It might just take a little bit of time to get started. We finally got the last of the walls sealed in. But again, we have the issue of circulation. I'm not sure what exactly to do. We're going to need... This is where I would love to be able to have an algae terrarium that I could just put in somewhere. Hmm. But until they get fixed, yeah, algae terrariums might as well not exist for me, as far as I'm concerned. So that's fine. If we're not going to get more than two excellent yield bristleberries, then that's, that is just the way it is. We do have a lot of these pinch of pepper nuts over here, even though they're not really being irrigated. They are meeting the... Oh, standard yield on most of these. Good yield on some, standard yield on most, and rot piles. Because the air here is contaminating the stuff very quickly, it needs to be swept up immediately. I see. Alright, let's get our electrical connection down here. To this. Yeah, we'll just we'll run that. And what we have is a lot of oxygen that we can tap into right over here. Uh, we're going to use granite because this oxygen is going to be hot and we don't really need it to be. So we're going to pipe across like this and come up. Ooh, we're going to need two pipes going in and out of this place. Okay, that's, that's fine. That makes sense. And we'll jump down beneath this one here. Huh. This pipe isn't going to be needed anymore. 
yeah, let's go ahead and we'll deconstruct this gas pipe. Okay, yep. We'll deconstruct this. Get this taken care of. And then this filter will likely change. I don't want to add a second filter. I don't want to be trying to filter out polluted oxygen, and then it's also filtering out natural gas, and it's just a big mess. So I think what we'll do is we'll filter out oxygen. That's what we'll do. Good oxygen will be put back in. Bad oxygen will be pumped out here on the side. Because then we'll need another pump out here to deal with that. Ugh. Goodness gracious. That's a lot. That's a lot of pumps. A lot of electricity. We might we might have to tap into the larger grid. I wanted this area to be somewhat energy independent, like the ice hotel, but I don't know. Looks like two pumps are keeping up with this geyser almost completely. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, I don't really want to run the pipe like that. Let's... It's already... We're already not doing it the way I want. See, I don't want to compromise. No, we're not going to compromise. No compromise. Instead, let's go ahead and we will deconstruct these. And that pipe feeds back into the main sorting area back home. Oh, this is interesting. So I thought about putting the carbon dioxide up here so that we'd get more polluted water, but then this pipe already feeds out into a sorting system to have everything taken care of. So yeah, good oxygen will stay, bad oxygen will get sorted out. That's just the easiest way to do that. So the good oxygen is going to come up like this. And then out like that. Perfect. All right, let's pick a spot for our exercise wheel. That we're going to need to jumpstart systems and also keep people in shape. That's right. It's good to be in shape. Now, this is where we're going to do our flower vases. Yeah, so everybody can be in high decor while they're suffering through exercise. It's not fun, that's for sure. So you might as well have some nice plants to... Uh, what did I do? What? No. Silly. You don't need the wheeze warts. Although, wait a second. On second thought, we might do some wheeze warts up here. Especially if this is where hot oxygen is going to be pumped in. Right, so we'll do two more flower vases here and here for our Weezworts. Um, I would like to... Can I unassign the... What? Ada X and Dayrak. Oh, wait! We have a, we have a name! We have a name for our, our X duplicate with no name. Hold on. How about... Pratik. Welcome to the colony. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've been enjoying it. I don't believe you asked to be a part of the colony, but I don't always wait for people to ask. So that's what happens when you comment. You get pulled in. So you can sleep here. And then the other person sleeping there was Dayrak. Okay, you can sleep here. We're not ready for the lava base yet. It's getting there. It's getting there rapidly, actually. It's getting there very, very quickly, but it's not there yet. Not at all. All right, so let's get the Weezwort seeds planted. More briar seeds. And then that's where we're going to wrap up the episode. So it started. Finally, it took a while, but it is starting. The volcano base has begun. All right, well, this has been Oxygen Not Included, episode 64. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching, because as 
always, I've had a good time playing. Please come back next time as we continue to get the lava base in order and maybe take some more duplicates and see if it shuts down and crashes the whole system. I don't know. I know that we're going to need... Um, we're going to need more oxygen if we're going to take on more duplicates because we're rapidly maxing out our current oxygen generation. But until next time, take care.